Hello everyone, it's really good to see you here all. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how we can use lead code effectively. So as a beginner, if you wanted to start your lead code journey, then I suggest do watch this video till the end so that you got all the insight like why this platform is best for you. So let's get started. So here you can see that this is the problem statement page of the lead code. Now it has so many different options which make it very user friendly so that we get all the thing at the same page. Now let's see all the different things. So here you can see this is the problem statement and then there is the accuracy given like how much person persons got accepted their solution here. So it has three main categories. First is easy, medium and hard. So if you are a beginner, try to start with easy problems and then later on slowly slowly move to the medium one and then only try to get involved in the harder ones. Because if you start with some medium or harder question and you if you got stuck in between, then the motivation to do coding is totally going to be in the vein. So I suggest just start with some basic question or easy questions and once you got to have the idea like how you are proceeding, it also at the same time boosts your confidence once your solution got accepted. So try to start with the easy questions, later on just increase the difficulty level. Now here you can see that you have so many different tags. So here there, there are so many different lists and from here you can select the difficulty level. So if you are a beginner, you can select the difficulty level as easy and start doing the problem. But if you are a moderate level coder, then also you can just see the medium and hard one. Now here it has also status tag that whatever the question you have solved, whatever the question you have attempted but you haven't solved it yet. And what are the question you haven't seen like <laughs> you don't even see that so yeah this is the status tag now in the tag section for all the different topics which we have in our DSA courses yeah that that course which we have we have to have to study like we don't have any, like we don't have any option apart from that so for that each and every topic we have a different question set so if you select the topic array here let's suppose and then just i am selecting array question and then the difficulty should be easy and the status should be to do like i haven't seen that question so here you can see that i got all the questions that has difficulty level easy and okay so i have to select this easy now i got the question list of so many different easy questions which are related to the topic array you can also reset it from here so that you got some random questions so this is how you can topic wise prepare for your dsa concepts so that it would be helpful for you for your coding exams as well as your interviews now moving ahead once you are preparing for your coding interviews then it's very important for you to have the idea about which type of question has been asked frequently in which type of companies so lead code also provide you this particular feature that is how many questions that google asks frequently then for apple uber oracle and so on but you can unlock this only when you have premium account but i have created one video related to how you can access all these premium features of lead code by adding a chrome extension so just go watch that video so here i had actually added that in the chrome that's why i can able to see all the questions that are being there in google so this is how you can get the idea about the whole question set of different companies Along with that, you can prepare each and every data structures topic to gain higher level of confidence on each and every of them. So, 
for me this is very helpful like practicing topic wise is very important because i guess once you are comfortable with any topic then using that topic in another question become very easy and this is what we want this is why we are learning data structures and algorithm right how we can just cut our problem into sort pieces and just optimize it as much as we can so overall lead code is very helpful for you in order to practice your coding and if you are doing only lead code then i guess it's more than enough you don't have to go to any other platform because it cover each and everything but if you are more interested in doing some higher level coding like if you want to see cp and something then obviously you can explore more but for dsa purpose and for your coding interviews for your coding round purpose most of the company mainly ask medium to hard level question from lead code and also in most of the interviews lead code medium level questions are the questions that are frequently been asked now let's move ahead and see a problem so let's suppose i am going in two some problems so here in this particular ui also you can got so many different features that are very helpful for you so firstly it has a problem statement and here you have to code from here you can select or whatever the language you are comfortable in and try start coding also the most important thing which i like the most from lead code is that its discussion section because it is a gem and i am telling it for sure it is a gem because let's suppose i have done some question using a data structure array or list only and i ha don't have any idea about hash map and so on so what i do i just go on discussion section and whatever the theory i had applied to that question there are so many different person who have different theories regarding the same question so by doing or by reading to the discussion section i got a whole lot idea about solving a problem in so many ways so if you are using lead code then its discussion section is totally going to change your life if you are using it correctly and this is what we want in an actual interview if you are sitting for a coding placement and also it has so let's suppose here you can see that a same person has put three different solution how to solve that question in c++ in java as well as in python so apart from having a dis different perspective of solving the same problem you also have different language solution so that you learn so many language at the same time if you want to that's important and also one more important thing that has to be noted here is that here you can see that like and dislike button right so the more like the question has the more important or valuable that question is and if you see some problem that has more dislike compared to likes then try to avoid that question because either it has some glitch or either it's not very useful or valuable so just keep in mind like try whenever you are solving any question try to look this that the like ratio should be greater than the dislike ratio and because so many people have already solved that question and gain something from it so for some question if the dislike is more that means that it has some glitch or it it's not very appropriate so just skip that question you can solve it later but if you are starting then you can always see this because it's going to be very helpful and for that question whose like ratio is very greater than the dislike ratio then what you are going to get is you are going to get so many different perspective of that question and, and it is it's a gem question that you are going to get a lot from it also if you are practicing something lead code generally conduct weekly and bi weekly contest so just try to participate in that and in the starting you find it difficult or it may be the possibility that you are not getting but later on when you keep continuing the process you are going to gain a lot and this will improve your coding so just do practice it out whenever you are starting coding just start giving contest at the same time because if you just 
solve the question and if you are not giving the contest then there may be the possibility that in the coding round you are going to lag a lot as practicing coding in a certain amount of time is very important because in that particular time how much question you solve is going to define your selection right so just try to have a habit of giving contest and on lead code you can also get so many okay so now let's see amazon interview experience so not only the problems are discussed in the discussion section but apart from that so many different interview experiences are also available so you can read from there and get the idea about your whole interview so that it would be helpful for you to crack it so here the person is telling like how many rounds are it has what are the interview rounds what are the different questions they ask what are the leadership question which amazon ask because amazon ask most of these leadership questions so all the thing you got here at the same place and this is very useful tool on the point of view of your interview preparation so the platform is same but it has so many different use cases so just use it effectively in order to get your dream job and also improve your coding knowledge and get whatever you want so this is the overall view of how to use lead code effectively and i hope i have covered most of the point if something is left please do comment it down in the comment section so that i can look upon it and yeah this is it for this video i hope you like it please do like share and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching